Okay, hello everybody. Today I will present a um, present a case review um, by using the helmet and the SW Loretta neural feedback for few children, for few children with ASD. And um, I believe here all of us uh, understand the terminology, so I will skip it. Um, the disclaimer, the purpose of the presentation is to illustrate possible arrangements and protocol based on the Neuradian uh, 1070 nanometer plus and the SW Loretta neurofeedback um, for the children diagnosed or suspected with ASD. The protocol will tailored for these children according to their brain map and symptoms. It may not be generalized to others. So um, we'll be quick uh, for the uh, review. For ASD characteristic, and uh, it is a um, quite a lot of symptoms, and the, we want to primarily target for the social interaction deficits and language development today. The first thing I want to talk about is the uh, language uh, impairment in ASD, or actually the research is also coming out from the uh, dyslexia. The theory of the oxido pathology, uh, nature of the language deficits in autism and dyslexia is available. So the um, general, uh, how to say, uh, theory is about the cause frequency coupling among various regions in the brain that contribute to the ability of the language proficiency. Um, in the aspect of the low frequency bands, the feeder, uh, they usually are talking about four to 10 hertz. Uh, which is embedding gamma, gamma bursts generated in the hippocampus, which reflect the temporal relationship of various mechanisms. For example, the memory retrieval that support the verbal expressions. Another part of the low frequency bands are 8 to 12 hertz. It is embedding uh, to the gamma bands accomplish the transfer of synaptic variable among brain regions that are leading lexical decision making. So, in the aspect of autism with language development and uh, those of the uh, fatal re related frequency. Actually, I, I will use the uh, alpha as well. Um, it's relating to the uh, coupling and the cause cortical transfer among regions that undermine the memory retrieval in certain lexicalization, which uh, we, can, we can see more uh, later. Another interesting study um, is about the uh, uh, using the uh, speech envelope moderation input to the ears. So uh, in this experimental study, they use uh, 4 hertz, 10 hertz, 20 hertz, and 40 hertz. And the uh, between group design is a typical read, typical uh, readers and the dyslexia. So and the when they are doing the measure uh, from they are measuring the, how to say, um, the brain response uh, according to this four frequency. And the, they find that most of the elevated frequency, uh, elevated amplitude of the brain wave is uh, associated uh, on the back side. And the, um, when they are uh, making the statistical analysis, they find that 10 hertz uh, uh, for both uh, SNR and the uh, uh, response amplitude are uh, associated with the significant difference among the, these two groups. So it is very interesting because the um, 10 hertz is a very uh, specific frequency that we use uh, the helmet many, uh, in many occasions that for the attention and relaxation. But when we are putting uh, the 10 hertz in this kind of uh, uh, pathology, we can uh, come out, uh, it has such kind of effects. Another theory that is uh, uh, corresponding to the uh, uh, language impairment in ASD is about the brain network perspective. So uh, we have a lot of brain network that is working together uh, uh, all the times. And the, for example, uh, ventral attention network, dorsal attention network, that are the two primary network and the, is a key role in synchronizing the brain oscillations according to the uh, Keshner 2021. And the um, VAN is about the, uh, uh, the uh, 
uh, rancho stream of the information from occipital lobe to the frontal lobe. And DAN uh, D -A -N is uh, another, the dorsal stream from occipital lobe to the uh, frontal lobe on the upper side of the brain. So, um, and the although DAN is the, uh, how to say, uh, the uh, primary, the right frontal parietal hooks are responsible for orient, orienting attention pauses. And these two networks have to work together and coordinate with other networks. For example, cilia network or the uh, frontal parietal network to achieving the overall alternating and orientation of the resources for the readiness for relevant events such as auditory simulation or speech and the um and also the control of attention so in the aspect of ASD without the developed language ability may be pretend to the disturbance in both VAN and DAN which uh, is associated with, with the weaker encoding of the low frequency band so, and uh, uh, the case study, and we primarily using the 10 hertz of the helmet before the SW Loretta neurofeedback training. And we will have the pre-QEG and post-QEG analysis. Most of the post-QEG is uh, recorded after incorporating a few sections of the uh, TPBM. We are managing this uh, kind of uh, uh, process in the once per week frequency. And the, the first case uh, used the name CCK. Uh, he is a five on six years uh, ASD boy and diagnosed with autism. He pretend to a little understanding of daily encounters and limited verbal communications. He makes up the names of the, his teachers in various situations. After the neural feedback and uh, training, he attained a range of improvement, for example, he could name his teacher correctly, but sometimes he need a few seconds or two uh, to, to say it out correctly. After incorporating the uh, uh, helmet and we made the improvement further, he can easily uh, speak up uh, his teacher's name correctly without any delay. For example, Mr. Wong, Ms. Chen, and uh, he became able to talk about his emotion. Once he cried and said he didn't want to do the academic work. He want to play with toys, but not with his elder brother. He also completes the drawing of the dinosaur below and uh, with the improvement. On the left-hand side, this is some kind of drawing. He said, ah, dinosaur, he worked out this. But uh, uh, all this drawing is uh, before the incorporation of the uh, uh, TPPM. But after we start to uh, uh, using the combination uh, of uh, TPPM and the neural feedback, he suddenly can, can uh, uh, complete the picture of the dinosaurs. So uh, this is actually, uh, um, how to say, her mother is uh, quite in, inspired or surprised uh, her mother called the teacher and to check whether this drawing is complete by the teacher or the children his own. And it is confirmed that uh, uh, it is uh, the work from CCK. So what, what Dr. Berman and I uh, 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 interpreted the, the, this kind of picture is that uh, CCK start to have an understanding of his teacher's verbal guidance. And he managed to draw the dinosaur for the first time where uh, uh, he is now at the uh, 5.6 years old. So the next page is about the um, uh, brain map comparison. Uh, before, before and after a few sections of the uh, helmet. So we can, um, uh, okay. Uh, in this uh, setting, I use only the uh, third quadrant uh, to, for two minutes at 10 hertz with the 25% uh, intensity. So after a few sections, we are, uh, due to the um, improvement, I collect the brain wave and work out this picture here, and uh, work out the brain map here. So we can see that um, the backside, uh, we have the uh, two, um, how to say, uh, 
on the T5 and T6 uh, low activation of the alpha. And this suddenly disappear. And the, uh, also the coherence on the delta, uh, the hypo coherence has been improved and to the, to the right hand side. So this is the, uh, the changes of the QEEG. And we also run the uh, mirror stack to, to see uh, any other effect of the, of the uh, sections. So the left hand side is the uh, uh, pair T test. When the change is significant, you will see the color here. For example, here, here. And the, for the right side, it is the percentage change. Um, since we use the pre-Q and the minus the pro-Q, if you find the, the blue color here, which means uh, this part is increasing. And in this uh, alpha one, eight hertz to 10 hertz, the, there is a, a, how to say, quite a lot of, uh, <coughs> uh, how to say, uh, increase in the amplitude. And that is uh, also statistically significant. So we can see that um, uh, just a few section or including another, another neural feedback, we have a lot of changes and uh, over different frequency band, which is uh, very good for us to, to, how to say, to study or to explore the effect when we are combining uh, the light and the neural feedback. So here is the, uh, the target area that we use the helmet. For the next line, and uh, we try to uh, have some understanding uh, of the changes in uh, based on hertz by hertz. Yeah, you can see that, and the um, for the ten hertz, even the left side and the uh, on the F3 or C3 or the C set, we have some changes, uh, which may be leading to to the improvement as well as the uh, eleven hertz. Okay, for the uh, the second the second one uh, YYH, um, YYH uh, is a four point three point four years old ASD, and uh, also diagnosed with uh, autism. It start to talk at two years and three months, but the language ab ability was sustained in a single word style. He didn't intend to talk in daily life. Before neural feedback training, he talked mostly during the uh, ABA or ST sections only. It is difficult for him to talk. For example, when he said, I want to eat rice, will be, I want rice, such kind of words. He paid a lot of effort to speak out uh, uh, only this kind of simple sentence. And uh, neural feedback training brought him to become more aware and respond to people uh, with an increased attention span. He can, he can pay more attention, look at other people uh, with the longer attention span. And the, in this case, I use uh, seven sections of uh, incorporating the helmet. And he start, uh, and he spoke for the first time on purpose as shown below. This is the uh, update from his study by using WhatsApp. And uh, I use such kind of communication with the parents to get the most update uh, performance. So it, sometimes it will be very good. Uh, sometimes they will emphasize uh, something they want to help like this. So the translation will be here. And uh, the daddy said uh, below is what had happened in these two days. He walked to the kitchen and looked for his mother, need Vivi, which means he need Vivi. The door of the bedroom was locked. He talked to his mother, key, I want to go to the room go into the room and he also approached the teacher and said, I want water and naturally I, I, I want to drink water. This kind of um, a simple sentence uh, or simple um, proactive expression is the first time they don't need to ask and uh, he just uh, speak up what he wants. So in this case, I also use the um, stimulation on the um, uh, back and the uh, with four minutes and 10 and uh, 10 hertz and 45 intensity at uh, 75 intensity. So you, if you remember, I use seven sections. 
because I need to step by step increase the time and the intensity. So it come up with the uh, seven uh, in the seven section with integration. It is achieving uh, seventy five intensity and four minutes. I start up with one minute, and the next week two minutes, and the next week three minutes, and so on. So uh, um, the situation is like that. Another uh, point you can see uh, the right hand side and how to say the most underactivated alpha is on the right side. Uh, closer to the temporal or occipital lobe, and the um, actually because their head uh, is relatively small, I hold the helmet and uh, rotate or rotate anticlockwise a bit, so I can achieve the um, orientation of the uh, simulation uh, much closer to here. This is some kind of uh, uh, small strategies that I, I used in uh, such kind of uh, uh, small children. And the um, so let's see the changes uh, in the statistic. It is quite interesting because the you can see most of uh, there are many many uh, changes uh, which is statistically significant. A lot of changes on the beta, and the uh, uh, which is uh, um, uh, how to say we we can we can think about uh, the changes. And the the alpha on the right hand side alpha, because the simulation is closer to here, you can see that uh, uh, the T six uh, nearby is increased, so it it match the it match the stimulation, but the change is more complicated. Yeah, uh, on the single hertz frequency, and the um, uh, it is also matched. The ten hertz is here increased in amplitude. And we have some changes on another frequency. So the first one, um, LHM, um, she is a 10 years old ASD girl. And she was referred to special education in the uh, very young age. She behaved abnormally with reduced response to people. She did not know her head pace line swing, and she could not walk up or down stairs properly when she was free. She came to neurofeedback at 10 years old to so reduce the intention to learn and would not point her finger where she should do it. And also select uh, select uh, uh, emotional response and with uh, limited speech. After neurofeedback training, her intention for learning and responsiveness improved alongside increasing verbal communication. Although uh, it is also the simple word and the progress of incorporating of helmets has shown to be more promising. For example, she started to raise your, her hands and intended to answer questions in class. She showed more responsiveness to her surroundings. She informed her mother what she can inform uh, her mother what she did in class and when she need when she need to submit the academic work. Smile, uh, smelling her. Uh, mom's clothes in a public area and crapping fingers reduced such kind of behavior and the she is able to pawn and speak up about which videos you want on the YouTube during the uh, neural feedback training section and uh, her communication among people may encompass uh, the smiling face already which is uh, never before so this is the um, uh, the map and the we can see uh, overall she has the uh, low activated alpha on the back side. But uh, for some reasons, and uh, I can see the high beta, and uh, I use the strategies on the global global setting. Um, so I, I use 10 hertz, and the, uh, the section is up to 40 minutes each time before the neural feedback. And at the same time, I use the uh, higher intensity on the back side. Which is the um, uh, should be aligned to the to the distribution on the QEG map before before arranging the helmet. And uh, after few sections, we find that the low activated alpha already improved. This is the uh, quite corresponding to the setting as well. And the um, but there are lots of changes on the connectivity. So uh, I believe uh, we still have, uh, we still need some time 
to keep on the training to make more changes. Um, this is the uh, neural stat, and the um, uh, let's see. Let's consider the the alpha. We can find here uh, on the midline, the alpha is increased, and the although it is not significant, for the gamma and the high uh, high gamma. Please uh, <laughs> forgive me. I I I make some mistake when I have the brainwave acquisition, so it is an error. We don't have to make it as reference. Um, another alpha increase uh, we can find in uh, 8 hertz to 12 hertz is on the right frontal lobe, which is also important, and the such kind of things. This is the single hertz. We find something uh, decreased, but uh, uh, how to say, it is only part of it, and uh, we need to explore more and more. So the, uh, the four, fourth case, and uh, WKS, who is a uh, 10 years old boy and the also diagnosed with autism. He was unable to respond coherently most of the time. For example, when asked about uh, what video he want to watch, um, when, we are, when we are using YouTube uh, for the neural feedback training, the best answer he could expect is about uh, swim, swim, or bus, bus, only, only this uh, words. And the neural feedback can make progress in different areas, such as understanding of what we ask and the being able to respond more coherently, although it was still not reaching a full sentence most of the time. But uh, after two sessions, and the uh, her mother suddenly sent me the WhatsApp capturing the video about about the uh, WKS and the. Um, this video, uh, I cannot play here, but actually it is about the showing the improvement of uh, WKS. And the, uh, her mother keep talking to him and ask him the question. For example, uh, where we bought the jelly, he tried to think about something relevant and learn from his mother, which is uh, quite special because he, he seldom uh, uh, having such kind of uh, trying to think it, with the effort to make the correct answer, he always uh, some talking about something irrelevant only, and uh, he answered correctly with hints provided. Finally, so her mother is quite happy, and within this video, he also expressed and said uh, the jelly is delicious, which is also the first time he can express such kind of uh, 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 feeling proactively. So this is the. Um, QEEG uh, brain map, because I cannot find find the very low uh, underactivated alpha on the QEEG map. I use the uh, 14 hertz and the 10 hertz. Step one is 14 hertz. Step step two is 10 hertz, and with the intensity and the uh, at the uh, 50 for two minutes two minutes only. So this strategy is to uh, um, I'm quite a lot uh, when I when I find the the over activation of the high beta or beta, I will use such kind of strategies to to adjusting to help to uh, move uh, how to say and the make the uh, make the resources and uh, from the high to the low lower frequency like alpha. So uh, for this one, we can find the um, although we have the still have the uh, hypo coherence, but the uh, phase lag on the middle. Uh, bands uh, on alpha bands have been uh, improved. So this is the changes anyway. And the um, for the neural stat and um, let's see, and alpha changes on the frontal lobe mostly, although it is not the uh, statistically significant. And also some some changes on gamma that we need to explore uh, in the future. And also and the uh, alpha is uh, elevated on the frontal lobe area, although it is not uh, statistically significant. This is the change on him, on the 5 hertz, okay. Okay, okay the final one, and the TK is a uh, 6.5 years old boy. Um, 
TK is uh, comparatively and the uh, not so behind compared to the previous previous children, and um, he can talk, but the topics of the speech was limited to his interests. He behaved like a three years old boy. For example, his conversation was about nursery rhythm or color toys on the YouTube all the times. He he will not change the subject according to uh, uh, to his teacher or his parents. He got little understanding of what he should do at his age. He pretended to some form of autistic feature with developmental delay, including language ability. After two sections of incorporating the helmet, her mother received the voice recording, uh, was a message from the paid therapy teacher. And the teacher mentioned about the changes of uh, TK in the past two weeks, just uh, be right after our integration of the helmet. So uh, it is about the um, the teacher find that uh, TK becomes smarter, obviously. The ability to comprehend her verbal instructions has improved. In the past, she did not understand the instruction of the game. I need to repeat and repeat over again. Now he understands most of the instruction that he should understand and does not understand what he should not understand like other same age children. They raise questions when he doesn't understand the instruction. He used to ask irrelevant and baby questions in that situation, which I should not reply to. It is why I feel that he grows with the ability of comprehension and languages have been improved broadly and significantly. So just two sections, and uh, this is uh, quite um, quite good. And the next day. Uh, TK's mother also sent me some of the update of the daily activity, uh, which in inspired her as well. He was able to tell what ha happened to another classmate, and uh, he told he told her mother that and the uh, the classmate is, was naughty and broke the eggs and then stepped on the eggs and then make a mess on his shoes. Then he took off his shoes and make a sense. Then he. TK asked uh, uh, him why you you throw the eggs, and he said the eggs are for science lessons, for experiments. So this kind of um, uh, changes is very impressed, impressive. And the mother told me and asked me, is it about the helmet related? Because just two sections, he that is not expected. Another another. Um, is about the uh, another scenario talking about his classmate, which I didn't talk too much here. And the um, yeah, so let's see the 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 uh, the map. Mm, okay, and uh, for him, I also use the ten hertz global uh, simulation and. Uh, at two minutes, 25, 25% uh, percent intensity. Uh, it is why I use one minute and in the first week and the two minutes in the second week. So uh, uh, up to this point, I take the measure of the brain wave and compare. And uh, we can see uh, a little changes in the, on, the, on the back side of the arbor and improved uh, a bit. And also, uh, the delta coherence is improved a little bit as well. So uh, although it is still need uh, more section for, for more progress. And one point is that uh, these children, and uh, because uh, he have some kind of restricted behavior as well, and uh, quite obviously, and uh, what I learned is that I should, I should integrate the 14 Hertz as well for the global, for the next time uh, when I use the helmet to reduce the anxiety, which is so on increased um, high beta or the beta. And also I should adjust my um, neural feedback protocol to, uh, to make the situation more uh, balancing for improving all the area, but not just the language. This is what I observed uh, uh, from, from the brain map. For the... Um, for the neural stack analysis, and the uh, uh, you can see a lot of change, and the 
also the beta increased as I, as I uh, just mentioned I need to adjust the the helmet protocol as well uh, and the and the neural feedback protocol according to the situation so this is the um, the uh, neural step analysis uh, in a one hertz band so 11 11 hertz uh, increase a lot so the uh, summary is that in the um, the TPPM uh, 1017 nanometer provides uh, the energy on either the, the brain spec uh, quantron or globally, which intensify the neural feedback mechanism. And uh, the effect of the TPPM and the SW Loretta on the QEG map is uh, notable, which uh, with some significant changes. So in the neural stat, incorporating uh, the helmet or the TPPM facilitate a higher trends and field sections for children with ASD to regain or improve their phonological awareness, which is imperative for the language and social communication development. The knowledge of incorporating the PBM and the SW Loretta for neural feedback intervention is still in its infancy, and much more uh, should be, need to be explored. So the reference, yeah, that's all my, my presentation. Thank you.